It's also from district number six. It's very close. Well, I want to thank Judge Carmichael uh, and the League of Women Voters for having us out and for everybody for staying, uh, especially since I'm the last one to speak. Um, but as far as my top priorities for my district, I'm out of District 6, which is probably the most explosive district in Jeffersonville right now. Uh, you know, the downtown has, has been on the move for the last year or two. Uh, District 6 is just now becoming on the move and you know our bridge is, is coming along and we've got some great development coming on so the top things that I want to see for my district a I want to see some road improvements on our secondary roads because the traffic has become so heavy on 62 and it's going to continue to get worse uh, roads like Utica Sellersburg Road Charlestown Pike and New Chapel Road um, with the amount of tax revenue that's generated in District 6, we need to in implement a sidewalk plan. Uh, with the continued development and increased amount of traffic, it's not safe for pedestrians out there. I mean, it's just not. Uh, and then the other thing is the, in the increased development of the upscale restaurants, retail, <coughs> and hotels, so that when people are crossing our new East End Bridge, then we actually have a place for them to spend their money that's not Louisville or Clarksville. So that we're collecting those tax dollars. Uh, as far as TIFs are concerned, you know, it's kind of a redemption of what everybody else has said. I have uh, three, three TIFs districts in my district. I do believe in TIFs. Uh, they bring in new infrastructure, new jobs. Uh, if they are handled the correct way, uh, then they do nothing but good things for the city. Um, as far as Jeffersonville's budget and the issue it's faced with, like the EPA uh, mandate, and if you tied my hands, I couldn't talk. Uh, <laughs> all the council really can do is make sure that the city stays within compliance of the EPA because it's, it's through the sewer board that that's handled. Uh, and as for maintaining a, a balanced budget, you know, my husband and I run a company and you can't spend more than what you have. And, you know, that goes back to what uh, Dennis Julius was saying. You have to, you know, you have to spend what you've got. You can't spend money that you don't have. If it's not there, you know, you can't spend it. Uh, and by doing that, you're going to have to make sure that the, all the departments stay within their budgets. And if you do that, you're going to be fiscally responsible. And that's the most important thing for the city. And that's the council's most important job, as far as I'm concerned, is making sure that we stay within our budget. Uh, and as far as working with eight people, uh, I think if you have the right mix of people, getting the job done is not going to be an issue. There's been so much divisiveness between this administration and the, the council that's in office now that there, you know, there's just things that haven't gotten done that should have gotten done. And by having the right council people in there and having the right mayor in there, things will get done the way they should be. And as a group, we all want what's best for our district. That's a given. But the name of the game is compromise, and that's what we have not seen. Some projects are going to cost more, they're going to be more important to others, they're going to be bigger. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's what it's about. And at the end of the day, it's all about working as a team for what's, the, what's betterment for the city. Not for me, not for Keith, you know, not for whoever is, else is on the council. It's the betterment of Jeffersonville. And whether it's my project or District 1's project or District 3's, it doesn't matter. So, you know, if, if we're all doing what we should be doing, working together, doing the best job that we can for the city, 
at the end of the night, we should be able to walk out of that room and say, we've, had, we've done a job well done. Thank you.